It's now time for this week in Trojan Athletics with Athletic Director Steve White. Steve, take it away. Okay, Trey. Good to be here this Monday. Ton of things going on out at the high school, middle school. Winter sports are grinding to a halt. Spring sports are kicking off, so we're going to hit a little of all of it today. Now, let's start with our winter sports uh, wrestling. Last weekend, finished second at the Toombs County Sweet Onion Invitational. Top finishes for coffee were Brian Cates, Tayshawn Pope, and Jatavius Williams, all finishing in second place. Wrestling will host the traditional region tournament this Saturday at Coffee Middle School. Uh, let me give you a little bit of details on that. Region wrestling at the middle school Saturday. Uh, cost of admission is $7. Gates will open at 8.15. First match begins at 10.30. Uh, finals somewhere around 1.30 with an awards presentation thereafter. So if you want to see some good high school wrestling, come to the middle school this Saturday for the, to the traditional region tournament. Basketball, girls split a pair of region games last week, losing versus Ware, and then defeated Jenkins on Saturday night, 77-41. to The boys won a pair of region games, defeating Ware 52-42, and then defeating Jenkins 60-47. to The boys finished their regular season with a 6-4 and region record. Both teams advanced to the region tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll keep you posted on that. Okay. Swim, state tournament, uh, state meet at Georgia Tech in Atlanta this Saturday. Uh, let me go through all the swimmers that will be going and what they qualified in. First of all, our girls 200 melee relay team of Car- Carson Skolton, Maggie Minshew, Kaylee Adams, and Nora Lott. Our girls 200-yard free relay, Carson Skolton, Maggie Minshew, Kaylee Adams, and Nora Lott. Our boys 200-yard Freestyle Relay, Brian O'Boyle, Matt, M- Mathis McCullough, Joshua Cribb, and John Vickers. Our boys 400-yard Freestyle Relay, Brian O'Boyle, Mathis McCullough, Riley Davis, and John Vickers. And then the following qualified to swim this weekend in individual events, Nor Lott in the 100-yard Freestyle, Brian O'Boyle in the 50-yard Freestyle, Carson Skolton in the 100-yard Breaststroke, and John Vickers in the 100-yard breaststroke and the 200-yard individual med- medley. So we've got great representation coming up this week at Georgia Tech in Atlanta for the state swim meet. Okay, now let's talk about spring sports that got started this week. Track. Uh, Coach, Luke, Coach Luke took Kate Merritt and Will Bagwell to Birmingham, Alabama for a large indoor high school track meet. Hosted over 1,700 athletes in the three-day meet. Uh, Kate finished fifth in the 3,200 and 12th in the 1,600. Will finished 22nd, but ran personal best in both the 1,600 and 3,200. We've got two very, very talented distance runners that competed very well in a very prestigious tournament. We're looking for good things from them as the track season progresses. Tennis. They kicked off their season Last Thursday, uh, defeated Berrien County. The Coffee High Boys team won in a clean sweep. The following are the results. Number one singles played by Cooper Day won 6 6 Number two singles played by Darun Patel won 6 6 Number three singles played by Ethan Kramer won 6 6 The number one doubles played by Ryan Carter and Josephat Pineda. 16062 and the number two doubles played by Philip Ross and Hayden McDonald 16061. Following uh, the boys varsity match, the boys JV played. Number one singles for the JV, Finn Darty won his match 6060. Number two singles, Hunter Taft 16161. The number one JV doubles of Elias Goodwill and Aiden Burnham. 16160 one, and the number two JV doubles of Peyton Steed and Liam LeBrock 162. Girls won a hard fought match three to two over Berrien. Coffee High number one singles was Gracie Morgan, who lost a tough match three six six three 
710. Number two singles, Kylie Childers won her match 6275. Coffee's number three singles player, Cassie Jo Perkins, won 6061. The Coffee number one doubles played by Caroline Allen and Emma Emmy Cole won in a close match, 7-6, 2-6, 10-6. And then the number two doubles team played by Kennedy McClendon and Katie Veal lost to Berrien in a close match. But the girls won their first match of the year, 3-2 to two over Berrien. Uh, JV players after the varsity was finished, Laney Griffin played Coffee's number one JV singles and won 8-5. to five. Caroline Crawford played number two singles and won 6-2. And then we had a JV doubles team of Kinsley Knight and Adeline Vaughn, and they won 6-2. to two. All right, uh, tennis was supposed to play today versus Camden here at the Coffee High School courts, but that's been canceled because of wet conditions. So that's uh, they're they're not playing today. Okay, now soccer. They started their season Friday night. Went to Atkinson County girls varsity. Won three to nothing. Sophomore Breeza Morales had the hat trick. Scored all three goals. Freshman Olivia Lariccia uh, had the shutout in goal. Boys defeated Atco two to nothing. Jefferson Hernandez assisted Armando Camacho on Coffee's goal, and the other was a self score by by Atco. Dreshawn Taylor had the shutout in goal for the Trojans. Good start for varsity soccer. Girls three to nothing victory, boys two to nothing victory over Atkinson County on Friday. Middle school started last Wednesday. The boys defeated Irwin. The girls lost to Irwin, but then both teams went to the Fitzgerald Middle School tournament last Saturday, where both the boys and girls middle school teams won the tournament. So soccer's off to a great start. Also, we're looking for good things from from them this season. All right, let's talk a little bit now about schedule upcoming. Of course, I mentioned the uh, the match today. Tennis match versus Camden has been canceled because of wet conditions. Tomorrow, basketball home versus Clinch is senior recognition. All the seniors will be recognized. Uh, no JV games. It's varsity only beginning at 6 o'clock. Soccer will be at Pierce County tomorrow for 5 and 7 p.m. starts. Baseball will be going to Jeff Davis on Wednesday. Now, this was a, a scrimmage game that baseball had originally scheduled for Thursday, but they've moved it to Wednesday at Jeff Davis at 6 o'clock for first pitch. On Thursday, JV Boys Soccer at Fitzgerald at 5.30. Tennis home versus Monroe out of Albany at 3.30. And then basketball at Irwin, JV boys at four and varsity thereafter. And there's another change. That game with Irwin County for basketball was originally on the schedule for Friday, February 3rd, but they've moved it back to Thursday because of conflict at Irwin. So boys, girls, and JV boys are going to play basketball Thursday, this Thursday uh, at Irwin County. Okay, this Friday night, home opener for our Varsity boys and girls in soccer versus Berrien County. Girls play at five, boys at seven. That's in our soccer field complex is at the middle school. So that's where if you want to come to soccer, that's where you're headed. Saturday, February 4th, we're hosting the region wrestling, which I mentioned earlier. Come out and support those. And swim will be at Georgia Tech in Atlanta for the state swim meet. Now, a couple other things. First of all, Football banquet tonight at 6.30, rescheduled from last Monday in the Performing Arts Center at the high school. And also, we will have a sign-in day. Our second sign-in day of the year is this Wednesday, February 1st at 11 o'clock at the Performing Arts Center at the high school. And we will have a combination of a cross-country track person and, and some football guys to sign. And we'll talk about them more next Monday, but... Everyone's uh, invited to come out Wednesday for signing day at the high school to celebrate these kids advancing to the next level. All right, we've thrown a lot at you today, but uh, good things going on at the high school. Uh, as I say always, come out and support these kids. They work awfully hard, and any type of support we can give them, they deserve. Thank you, Trey.
Get ready, don't stop.